Earlier today, a Russian court upheld um, a ban on Meta that labeled them as an extremist organization, which in effect means that Facebook and Instagram are completely banned in Russia now. A criminal investigation was launched into Meta two weeks ago following changes to their policies on political speech. So Facebook temporarily changed its policies, which would allow users in Ukraine and also in some Eastern European countries to essentially to call for violence against Russian troops or in some cases against Russian military leaders. This comes about a month into Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And this has less to do with Facebook per se or any Facebook executives, but it's about people who are posting on the platforms. Russia right now has, as we've seen over the past month, is running out of a lot of friends. And, and um, we've seen week after week more Western tech firms pull out of the country entirely. The kind of wild thing about this whole designation is that it really was designed for terrorist groups and other groups that were more traditionally ascribed to extremism. So here will actually be the first time that designation has been used for a foreign uh, technology firm. So critics have pointed to that as an example of how this term that was once used for terrorist groups and other um, extremist organizations has been uh, widened significantly.